this is Mike Check 95 along with my partner in crime, Krieger Margin 1. Uh, we're going to be doing another RDW analysis. I don't know if we're going to be doing more than one or just one or whatever. All right, so our first match, ladies and oh, gentlemen, Lordy. is Lordy. from 20, no, November 16th, 2016, um, with 224 views at the time of this. Yeah. The regulator, who's the defending champion, will be facing Jason Egghead Anderson. I know why you picked this video, because I was bald in it. <laughs> <laughs> this set the scene, Michael. So, what, what do you want me to set? The fact that why I shaved my head, or uh, yeah, what was going on in this time period? Outside of the league, there was a lot of drama going on between a friend of mine and I, and I had like a, I guess, a mid twenties, early twenties crisis or whatever. And at the same time, I turned heel and changed my gimmick and everything and character name. So. To combine the two together, I decided to shave my head completely bald, pretty much. And the video we're about to watch, it's you've got a bit of a buzz there, but I was pretty damn close to being completely skin. Reminded no me of people that were in the military, because when I was in the army, yeah. including myself, they sat us down in a barber chair and they did that kind of cut. Mike, how long did that haircut take you to get? Um. Honestly, it took quite a while because the but the razor I had, I yeah. borrowed from Casey and it died halfway through. So, mine took about five seconds and I had a full head of hair. And then on top of that, like, it hurts. I got all of it, like, taken care of and then I was like, alright, I wanted to get it completely, like, close as close as I can. So I had uh, a friend of mine take one of those hand razors you use to shave your face and get all the spots off of my head. Yeah. <laughs> so this is egghead. Is this a championship match or is it a non-title? Oh, uh, it was a championship matchup because uh, because management decided to give Jason Anderson. Another well, I don't know what was going on around this time. Like, I just turned heel. Uh, case okay, so I just turned heel like two matches prior. Uh, case, uh, the regulator just won the world championship uh, back after it being dropped because Fatty Ogre left for Korea at the time. And we didn't really have any angles or storylines going because, of course, during the time that this was being recorded, there was kind of a divide in the friend group because of outside drama that I'm not going to get into. So we were kind of like lack of content, so we just decided to do this championship matchup and everything, which later on in the end, it kind of built onto a story like going into next year between him and I, but at the time it was just a random title match that... We were trying to throw it together. It actually built into two storylines. This match built two storylines in like at one time, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, well let let this match commence. Yep. Ah oh, man. Just know I'm never shaving my head like that again. Oh yeah, this was uh the opening promo for the show. And then like it was supposed to be part of like a whole like pay-per-view or big show or whatever, but since we had issues in the friend group, it kind of just became like a one-night thing. Because this was supposed to be Inferno, RDW Inferno, but I got pushed back to uh, so December. Nobody else is here during this thing? No. Uh, Brett's, uh, Brett's filming, Pyromaniac's filming, I think. So it, no, it's, it's either uh, Br uh, Brett or... So Actually, it is it is Brad. So this is a lot what it'd be like with uh, COVID style. Yeah, RDW. this is how it'd be. This is how it'd be nowadays. But like normally, we would have people sitting on the couches there against the wall. We'd have a commentary set everything too because we didn't have a commentary team that night too mm -hmm. because everyone else that usually uh, partake was on the other half of the drama going on between me and my other friend, and they were legitimately all upstairs with the door shut playing zombies, ignoring us downstairs. And sometimes it's better not to have commentary, because then you can hear the people talk shit on each other. Yeah. Or our commentary, I felt like at the time, would talk too much, and you it would distract from the match. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of glad that KC actually stepped up to do this match, because he... I wouldn't say he didn't necessarily took my side on the whole thing with the drama, but he understood that I where I was coming from by like regrets and whatnot, so he didn't like hate me. I believe this match was filmed like probably a week or two before it was actually released because before this time I hadn't like talked to my friend about what was going on. So by the time it was uh, 
released. I already talked to my friend and everything was settled out. I had a lot of personal things going on. You look like a hurt egg. You go in socks? Me? Yeah. No, I think I think this is what shoes. Yeah, I was wearing shirt wearing shoes. Because I got to And you have plenty of weapons on your fucking arm to hurt people. Well, with. this was before I started wearing gloves over the wrist hand wrap the hand wrap. Alright, hip position is key. I am not actually You should have your hips back as much as yeah. possible. I already know right there I'm not actually applying any dip pressure yeah. on that whatsoever. I was just trying to hold them down and yep. it just overpowered me. Oh god! So, just to pause as we analyze yeah. it. Yeah. The, the main issue there with what happened, if you guys go back and watch this, is as Mike had the guillotine on, his hips were like, he was laying his hips towards the ground, but he wasn't actually putting the weight on it. Yeah. So Casey was able to just barely tuck your legs back, Pull you back, double leg, and it's good. Yeah. So, one thing you guys want to watch out for, make sure your hip position is where you want to be at. Mm -hmm. Again, I think a lot of the a lot of the stuff that was going on too, like I mean, yeah, my performance wasn't doing that great because I will admit I'm not the best wrestler, but you also got to take into consideration I'm not in the right headset in this fight. I had other stuff bothering um, me. Now your defense is good there. You're, 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 you're cupping the hand. You're making sure that he wasn't able to lock that in. Oh yeah, because I, I always know he goes for that guillotine. Yeah, and he's he's doing good there. Um, his pants are kind of falling a little bit, but other than that, he's doing good. He's put, he was See how he's putting his chest on you. He was making you feel all that way. Yeah. Stances going into it. like. He's he's got the better stance, honestly, and like he's he, uh, hand fighting a lot, like like that that with your with your two hands on the back. You want to have a collar and elbow. Yeah, you want to like, grab one hand I, collar and one hand on the elbow, and get head control. I've actually never went back and watched this match. I don't know why. I've never seen this match. I haven't seen this match in four years. Right there, you want hip position, so you put your hips yeah. to his back, and then he's like, oh, "Let me just suplex you." Yeah, and that gave you an easy, easy look. He, look, he's got good hip position. He's lower than you. So you're not going to be able to take him down like yeah. that. I think right there, I'm just trying to get a freaking now headlock. If you position. had proper hip position there, you could do a hip toss. See, right there, there's no. You you kind of have you have a some look look. I don't know what I'm trying to do. See, he's honestly. switching between car car and elbow, going for locks. All he has to do right there is he literally just needs to sweep your legs and you can take. And there you go. Right there, yeah. And then he needs to circle his hips out. There, there you go. He's got you in a good position. And that's really not going to do anything when he has good hip position like that. Sometimes you can get lucky, but with how big he is, he's not like long and lanky, so you're not going to. But I'm still able to like slip out. I I will I will say honest, it honestly helped a lot to get out of lot of those holes. Oh there. wow! Good, good hip position. Wow. So you circled away from his arm there, so he couldn't grab you. That was good. Um, but why'd you like? Why'd you let? let I think like he that? slipped out. Even though the way you I had drive it, his, your hip into his head. The way I had it, I think the, I think the way it was angled on the couch and everything, it liked. See here, you need some a, of that heel tactic. This is the there. block to pass thing that you need. Yeah. See, okay. So this is another thing. This is more of training for you. Yeah. So right there, you had him right, and then you tried to circle around him, but you didn't block to pass, so his hand was free to grab your leg. Yeah. So what you do is you grab your forearm that was on top of him, go over, block his hand, and then circle around. Yeah. And then you would have been on his back and maybe had him on, maybe had him on his stomach. Was that an eye poke there? I don't know. <laughs> that looked like an eye poke. You know what I'm honestly surprised? Out of, mm. out of all the matches I've had that I wrestle in tank tops like that, I'm surprised none of them actually ripped. See, and now he's, now he's got a full mount, mount. And That's hard to get out of. But I don't know what he's doing, trying to do with your... Is he trying to cross your arms across? Probably, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He's going to try to I'm wearing a glove. I'm sorry. I'm. Well, I'm kind of You've distracted. You've got a hand wrap on one hand. I think hand wrap on both hands, but a glove on on one of them. Cause I don't know why I was trying to do like the whole black hand, red hand thing. It was okay. Yeah, he's got me pretty good here. I don't, I don't, there was a lot of points in this match. I don't know how I survived so long. I just. I don't think he knows what to do here. Like in this full mount position, when he has you on the back. Like I feel like oh, if you. See, look, right there, you're in, you're technically in half guard now. Like, he's in a bad spot that he can't really do anything. There you go, now you got you in the it's full guard. See, right there, you I'm should not be trying to pick him up and headbutt him. I was surprised I was actually able to get him off the ground. 
Oh yeah, I knew it was gonna happen there. I, that was uh, that, that was hilarious because like you get your hooks in. Oh, ah, uh, it's not cinched in. No, see, that was your before you went back. You should have got your hooks in. Yeah, you got too excited. I, I yeah, cause like I oh I've always told uh, told him that every time we've wrestled like each match we've wrestled one on one it goes a little bit longer and a little bit longer and I always get closer and closer to beating him. See right there you're like, you should, so his issue is cardio. Yeah. You're letting him rest. My like, issue is you technique. Need, honestly, you need to just be super aggressive with him and just keep keep the pace moving because then that's where he gets tired and makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. You don't have the hooks there. I don't know what I'm I trying. Other, looks like you're trying to go for an arm bar. I, if you could slide that other leg out, put it on his head, cinch back, and you could get a good arm bar in there. Yeah. But he's on top of your leg. See, that would be so easy. All yeah. you have to do is just put that over him. And he's able to break out. And right there, you should swap your back as fast as possible. Get up. Yeah. Circle out. Just notice how he's grabbed your far ankle yeah. and, and pushed you to the ground when you try to build a base. And that's why you circle out, because he's just going to be able to just do put that. you down, and it looks like you can't do anything. Even when he's pinning your arm like that, if you just flip your soldier, the shoulder, you go with him. I think if I remember right, I was having like a weird sensation with the haircut and everything, because the more that I was sweating, the more it felt like there was Velcro on my head. Because mm. it started getting really prickly and itchy up there. Okay. See, I feel like he doesn't know what he's doing either, though. Like, he had a dominant position yeah. for a while. I'm trying to remember, like, if we actually talked before doing this fight or not. Because I, back then I had really weird booking decisions. Was your cardio fucked up? At this time? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, because you're not moving a lot. I eat, I think it is either... Because usually if I drink, like, a lot of soda or, like, or anything, like, my cardio was always awful. Or this could have been a day where, like, I drank the night before. Yeah. Because you're not being super active yeah. on the ground. Look, you're trying to overpower him there. I think that's another thing that's issue is that I'm using too much of my power there. Yeah, you need to drive your hips up, and especially when he's like taunting like that. I just drive my hips up and throw him, buck him off you, or at least I've, buck him forward. I've tried that a couple times with bigger guys, but like it doesn't work. Well, when you catch him off, you got to catch him off guard, and at the same time, you have to put, you have to bridge your shoulders out. Like, yeah. Look at that. That that was good movement. So, I don't know what this is. I really don't know what that is. Okay, I I, I know. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I honestly don't know what that was. I have wondered why I did that move, and I stopped doing it after I wrestled Freddy a couple times, because all he would do was just push off the ground and not make me fall, fly off. Like, block to pass. Like, if you're practicing your block to pass methods, that's cool. But no. And see, you're not using good hip position. You're just dragging your hips down. You're not putting weight on them. I think with that right there, I shouldn't have locked his arm in. It just should have did both around the head. Because I think what I was trying to do is that I was trying to like pull all, pull all of my up, upper, upper body weight. But look, your your leg is under his head. You need to sense that over his head, create separation, and then pop your hip out yeah. and you beat him. I don't know. Just a lot of my wrestling decisions were weird. So I'd always do that front headlock and then yeah. keep my legs away from them so they wouldn't grab it. That's and, why I do all you're that. you're pulling the strongest part of his arm. Oh, you could have beat him here. Yeah. I think I think, I think think right here I was like so close. I was like, come on. If you would have pulled on his mid forearm instead of the tuck of his elbow, I think you would have got him. Oh, 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 but he, but, he, he saw but see, it. He saw your, it. Leg, your leg wasn't locked tight enough around his head. Yeah. And he just slipped right out. So I really think if you just worked on some of your tech, which obviously this was four years ago. You yeah. Know, since then. But at this time, if you would just develop your technique, you could have been the world champion. Easy. This was probably the first of the two times I came really close to being the world champion. Because Casey here... He, he, at this point, he's worn the fuck down. Yeah, yeah. His cardio is shot, and I'm... I feel like... Oh, this is where you have an advantage. If you survive out of that, you just need to work on your cardio when you're yeah. fighting big people like that. Look at that. You're hit. Your hip's doing better there. You're driving into him, but you want to try and pair it into the side of his head. Yeah. Um, and cinching off to the side. That the way he's sprawled like that, you don't want to grab his elbow as well. Like he had your Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I I've always told people like I do that when I'm trying to like add more. I guess. Oh, and you could have fucked up his arm. Heat to the story or whatever. Try to rest and whatnot. I know it's a dumb thing. I should have done that right there. Yeah. Circle back. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I all do. He it. just pushed you. I just, I just gave him my back. Uh, I think this might be close to where it ends because I knew, I know he, he gets me in a sleeper. Because he is tired and he is desperate at this structure. Yeah. Why are you not getting on your feet? Like you're pushing out, but you should try and get to your stomach. Prop your feet up. Remove some. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, I got so terrified right there. You see me just quickly mm. get my head out. I got so scared. You're like, oh fuck. See, you need to use your get on your feet. There you go. You're on your feet now. But I. What is that? I, 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 I okay. I, I think that was a weird cross face without the arm trap. This is what happens when I'm gone. There's zero technique. <laughs> This well, one. okay, like, you got to understand my wrestling style, it's weird, like, it's my failed attempt at trying to mix like, wrestling ability and all the, the professional stuff I see on TV and mix it I just, together. I just don't remember it being like this. I'm not trying to be a dick. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. I mean, I, I'm surprised the fan base that we got over the years, and there I go, getting mad, taking off the gear. I always feel like that was a flaw for me, because I'd always take a rest break and take, off the, take yeah, the gear off. off. That's like Angle pulling down the straps, though. Look, look, those hips fuck you up so much. Yeah, All he yeah. has to do is, is just barely grab those legs, even if he's tired. Look, look, oh I, I, my. Again, I got the arm trap, too. I shouldn't have done that. If you would have proper technique here, you would have him. Look at that, and then you're trying to... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So you're cinching... I'm si okay, so I'm cinching so, in the So you're cinching team. your whole body backwards, but you're not actually tightening your arms. If you look at your arms, it was actually more relaxed like this. Well, it's because, okay, I think it's because of my arm position, because I had the arm trap, yeah. too. I should, because his arms are like, so, like that. Wait, I'm, should, I'm covering a neck, shoulder, and an arm, so I'm, my arms are like this, and it shouldn't be been like that. If you're able to. I just thought it was funny, because your body was going way more back, and then your arm actually got more relaxed on his neck, and it looked yeah. ridiculous. But you want to cinch in instead of... Off to the side. There we go, taking the fucking hand wrap off. Or fixing and that it. gives him time to recover. I know. That's why. I, that's why in 2017 I start. I started sticking to like an actual. Uh, Can we get a sense counter in here? Because because like, at, how? What do you give him? A fucking five minute rest? Yeah. This is a 20 minute video. I, don't know, and how I really don't know resting? what's going on here. Are you talking shit, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, like, I think at this point my cardio is getting shot too. Like, um, I've already went through my second gas tank. And now I'm just fucking around. And he's just, he's just waiting for a spot now. Yeah. He knows you're fucking around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all, I'm just, I just hate, I just hate the attire I have on right now. I hate it. It goes good with the egghead, because it's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm glad I started sticking with a consistent one, with like the black shorts, or either the white or black shirt, and either the armbands. And, and it's all about changing levels right now. You guys are both standing straight up. If you get your lever lower than him, and you're able to get the angle, you can easily take him down and get position. But look, you're just putting both hands on there. Looks like you guys are dancing now. Yeah. Well, right there, boom, boom. It was good though, because you could hear hear you guys talk smack for a second, and then yeah. start back up. That looks good. Do you feel like you cut that out on purpose so people could hear the talk? Smack? No, we were actually having connection issues with the music at the time. Mm. I didn't understand what was going on, but I was trying to stay in character. I will say I I didn't oh. start doing the whole shirt tucking thing until you explained it that one day, and then I was like, wait, this is so much easier. Well, whenever you tuck in your shirt, yeah, you're more effective. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm not I'm not getting choked up by a t-shirt. Yeah. And I started getting like, because later on, the t-shirt that I would wrestle in, that Spider-Man one, I would I get it like one size a bit smaller. It's definitely why I want to do a singlet and just have like sh shorts on like that or something. Yeah. I would have like a smaller shirt and like have it a little bit tighter. That way it's it's not like baggy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, blatant joke right there. Nothing illegal. I do that all the time. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. This is game, set, and match right here. This has to be game. He doesn't even have your full back, though. See, at that point, there's not a lot you can do. Just don't panic. Keep trying to start. I'm already panicking. Like, you're already... Okay, well, aside from the panicking, your motions were doing the, same, the right thing. You gotta start. And I'm turning over on my back. I think on top of that, like, I'm feeling all the weight from his stomach and his, like, He's lower doing body. all of the right things right now. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't really breathe. He doesn't even have that locked in that tight. Well, you gotta realize how. Roll to your stomach here. Roll to your. See, before he pulled his leg over. There you go. There you go. Look how sloppy he is. He's so tired. Ow. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I should have had this match in the bag. Are you trying to pin him? I 
don't know. Five times you're gonna be dead. I should have had this match in the bag. And I, uh, okay, okay. Oh my rewind, god! Rewind that, rewind that. That mistake pisses me off. This piss, okay, that mistake pisses me off to this day because I was stupid and gave him my back. He had time to rest and he still can barely live. Look at him, he just laid his fucking hand on me. <laughs> He's like, holy shit, I can't handle this. And thing. then like, I do some weird fucking leg thing here. I'm gonna go for a pin, Michael says. And here, here's what happens, he gets me in a side, like a weird side headlock here, and then my mistake here, I jump over, give him my back, and he sends in a chokehold. <laughs> I pissed myself off when I you fucking threw happened. the match. And then you can see her egg head getting all purple. Oh, Look at that purple head. Uh, <sighs> this match angers me. And there's the tap. And uh, the, I mean, at least this part of the match, though, I appreciate the storytelling that we try to do. Because he's trying to tell me to get up and show respect. And I'm like, no. She's just a little blow. See, at the time, I didn't know where I was going to go with this because I was playing the bad guy and I was still, like, trying to be all shitty and stuff. But why you shake his hand, then? Because I... Okay, I, just I, at, at off, the very right? moment, I wasn't sure what I was trying to do, but, like, later on, as, like, when we, when we came to him starting to come back after he took that leave, uh, we decided to develop a story, so the idea was to have the story with him and I's alliance start at that very moment. That Yo, we secretly I think Casey made needs some belt extenders for that one. Yeah. And to think he lost the belt the next month later. If he would have fought me. That's right, Casey. I'll beat you. You see, I'm pissed off because I lost. Because I'm pretty sure that's my third loss that time. Oh, yeah, that was also a part of the storyline where I was starting to lose matches, too. Oh, you mean the MVP storyline? Yeah, the MVP storyline. Yeah.